Today I want to talk to you about Dr. Herringbone's Tone Traveler. We always hear, you always hear, buy a new guitar, or even an old one, the more you play it, it opens up, they call it. The guitar opens up. It sounds better the more you play it. Stay with me, I'm going to show you a way you can play your guitar all the time. And then when you actually pick it up to play it, it's going to sound its best. I'm going to show you the do's, the don'ts, the pros, the cons, the uh, positive and negative, all about this thing. And uh, along with how it works. Hold on. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Now, we all agree, the more you play a guitar, the better it sounds, right? Especially acoustic guitars. Well, mainly acoustic guitars. The wood has to vibrate, okay? For that guitar to sound its best, the top should be tuned to a, a certain pitch around whatever key it's going to be mostly played in. Uh, the big boys kn know this. Do it and do it. <laughs> uh, but this... Uh, First, I gotta, I gotta say, there's another device I made videos on and did a before and after, and I can't say that name on this video. Uh, it makes your top vibrate. It just put one hum into the guitar, and you could adjust the freak, no, not the frequency, the the uh, however much or less of it you wanted. You know, if you wanted to vibrate hard, you could just set it up for that. If you wanted to vibrate a little bit, you could set it up for that. Uh, the Dr. Herringbone Tone Traveler is totally different from that, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how it all works first and how accurate it is. And uh, there is some uh, negative points about this. I told you I would be 100% honest with you about this. Like I say, I bought this thing, uh, so I'm not getting anything out of, you know, reviewing it. Whether I say anything good about it or bad or whatever. Anyways, I bought it myself. Because a friend of mine told me about it. And I said, hey, yeah, I've got to get one of them. He said, why haven't you showed this on your channel? So I didn't know it existed, man. So he showed me his. And I said, yeah, I'm going to get one of these, man. And they are expensive. But uh, come along, I'll show you how it works. And uh, we'll put it on this guitar back here. And I'll show you everything that you need to know about Dr. Herringbone's Tone Traveler. And how well it will make your guitar how much better it'll make your guitar sound and why it will so come on over dr herringbone's tone traveler now i already made an unboxing video on this so if you want to see exactly what you're going to get when you purchase this go watch that video <laughs> this one we're going to dig into this thing i'm going to show you everything about it that i can think of what I'm going to do here, all you have to do, let's see, I don't think it matters which one of these you turn on first. Do you hear that? That's on. I don't think it matters which one you turn on first. I've got it upside down and ashes on it. It's very easy. You just turn, turn them on and uh, they do everything else, man. Turn them on and let it all boot up and it uh, they sync together. I think it uses Bluetooth maybe. Anyways, I'll hold it up for a second. You can watch if I don't drop it. You can't see it for the light glare. Maybe you can see it now. Anyways, that other thing that I demonstrated, it was uh it just had one frequency to it, and you could adjust the sensitivity of it. That's the only adjustment you had. This, you're going to be amazed, man. You are going to be amazed. Or at least I was. I think you will be. And I think these are well worth the cost. They are expensive. Yeah, it's working. They are expensive. But in my opinion, I've been playing with this thing for a couple of weeks now. And uh, it's well worth the price. So I need to bring you over here closer or zoom you in or something. What I'm going to do first is put a tuner on this. And we're going to check to see if the frequencies are close or far away or what. So hold on, let me get set up for that. Okay. I hope you can see the tuner right there. If you, I'm going to hit the 
E string, high E string on the guitar here. I just have the guitar selected on the touchpad. Hopefully you can see that Peterson Strobe Tuner, high definition. That string is in tune. Second string. It might be favoring sharp a tiny bit. Oh, it's the first one. Well, my thumb's too big. The low E. Dead on, man. The A string. It's vibrating the thing off the table. Dead on the money. Hopefully you can still see that. D string. Yeah, I think you can see the tuner okay. Now, that's just on the guitar. We can go in here and check specific uh, notes. Let me try to get this to stand up better. Hopefully, it'll stand there long enough. Hopefully, you can still see it. Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, I don't know. I see some light glare in there. See if that fixed it. Yeah, I think you can see that. That's a C note. And it's dead on the money. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven octaves of that C note. I doubt you can even hear this one. That's reading it, see? Here's the next octave. The next octave. C4. 5. Oops. Six. And you may not be able to hear seven. Yeah, I think you can hear that. It's too high for the thing to read it, though. But you can see, it's dead on the money, man. Uh, it's got sharps and flats. Here's a B. If I can hit it. Oh, that's a D. I'm sorry. Yeah, it does say D dead on the money and you have one two three four five six seven uh, octaves there every key that i tell you you got seven octaves on it here's the e so you can see how well this device works is in tune uh here's a f And I checked all of these octaves on all of these keys, and uh, a couple of them is off. <laughs> you see, the A is on, man. Dead on the money. Here's the B I was looking for a little while ago. It's showing a tiny bit sharp. Now, I'm betting that every octave will be sharp. That one is. a little sharp you probably don't hear that but it's a little bit sharp too so every octave of the B is it's not the tuner's not picking that one up it's too high for it see it's a little bit sharp that's two octaves together uh, the A Is dead on the money. Now, it's got sharps in here, which can also be used as flats, and they're sharp. Here's a C sharp, for instance. Oh, that's too low. Hold on. Here's a C sharp. 
and it's a little bit sharp you see just a little bit but it's sharp uh, here's D sharp you see it's well, okay it's closer try a different octave yeah the D sharps okay here's F sharp see it's a little sharp the F is dead on the money there it is I hope you're seeing that camera that tuner so you see it's very 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 closely to being perfect it's so close your ear is not going to detect it let's see just how sharp it is what was that C sharp wow that's that shows sharp on the Peterson and dead on on this Korg <laughs> Weird man. The chord will tell me how many cents sharp they are. I haven't found any flat notes. Okay, D sharp. It's dead on the money on both tuners. I've got another tuner. Yeah, I think you can see it. You probably can't read it, but you just have to take my word for it, man. Because it's too much stuff to <laughs> squeeze into the, the screen. What was the other one? Here's a G sharp. It's dead on both. A sharp could also be used as B flat. So there's only one. Which one was that? D wasn't D sharp. F sharp. Yeah. The F sharp is reading sharp on this tuner. But on the old Korg, the one I used to set up guitars with, it might be fluctuating to one cent sharp. It's very little. Your ears is not going to hear that. I can't get it to quit. You got to hit these things just right. You know, you guys don't know about that, I'm sure. It's got uh, a banjo tuning guitar I don't think you can see what I'm looking at here there's mandolin and on bowed instruments it's got violin viola cello and bass now I'm going to get you we're going to put this thing on a guitar and uh, I'm going to show you some things that will make you a believer in this hold on now here's how easy it is to attach to your guitar. If you can see this little thing right here goes between the third and fourth strings, turn it up and it locks in place. And right here you can see it's attached. Now I'm going to experiment as time goes on, putting it in between other strings for certain tones that I want to drive into the guitar. Uh, let me get this back up here and uh, rearrange you <laughs> and I'll show you some things. This is what's going to sell it, I think. The device is on the guitar. If you look down here, I'm going to hit the A2. It's going to get loud. And I want you to look at the second string.
so you can see how it vibrates the strings. Now, I'm going to turn all of them on. I'm telling you that now because you probably won't be able to hear me <laughs> with all of them turned on. So, let me do that and I'll bring you, well, I'll just keep you here and do it. So we went to E, if I can see, if I can find a B. And another E for the, higher E for the little string. I think it's an E, yeah, it's probably too high. All of the strings are vibrating. Now, if you wanted like a triad to play, or a whole chord even, uh, let's see, a triad is like uh, a D, a B, and a G together. So let me pick a D, a B, I can find it. and a G. That's a triad equal to. I can make an, a, a complete G chord here and play that into the guitar or a C chord. If one string was a little bit weak, you could put that frequency into your guitar, leave it overnight. Or if a chord on your guitar, a certain chord you hit, was weak, but the rest of the chord sounded good, then you could vibrate that chord into your guitar and keep it going on and on and on. And uh, it'll get used to that. I mean, it will start to like it. And the top will respond much better after you've done this. I should have mentioned you can adjust the volume of this thing through this touchpad. I did turn it down while we was doing that. It was getting so loud, I was afraid the camera wouldn't pick me up talking. Uh, when I first got this, took it out of the box, put it on a guitar, it ran for uh, three hours once. I took it off for a little bit, put it back on, and it ran eight more. So it ran 11 hours before it ran down. This piece that goes on the guitar I'm talking about. So I charged them back up. I got 11 hours out of it and had to charge it, but that was the factory charge. I don't even know if it's full charge or not. But it ran 11 hours. I timed it. And uh, I'll tell you guys, if I had to say anything bad about this system, it would be having to listen to it all the time. <laughs> you know, you, you can turn it up pretty... The louder I think you turn it up, the more effect it's going to have on your guitar. And you, it'll get pretty loud, as you heard. Of course, I know that camera cuts back on loud noises, too, so maybe it cut back. I don't know if you'll be able to tell it on the video or not, but that's the only thing bad I can say about it, is having to listen to that. I'll show you real quick here, right now. Uh, just put it on guitar, open strings. This is all the six strings open. And I can turn that up way up more, or down, either. But that top is really going to town on this guitar, man. Vibrating like crazy. Like I say, you could uh, punch in chords to vibrate into your guitar. Or triads, or, you know, minor chords, or flat chords to use the sharps and flats. Pretty much any frequency that your guitar understands it can give to it. <laughs> Earl's going to like this, I'm sure. Anyways, uh, it is expensive, yes. It's more expensive than the other one that I showed on this channel, but it's, in my opinion, a lot better. I can't say the name of the other one. You can go back and watch my older videos if you want to see that. This one's better. I like it better. Anyways, thanks for watching. Cheers to you. And I'll see you next time! I'm going to do a I'm going to string up my other Martin guitar.
new strings, make a video playing it, and then I'm going to run this device on that guitar for, well, we'll see how long it takes and what difference it makes. But watch for a video to come on this thing, a before and after. I think you're going to be able to tell a big difference from what I'm hearing, you know, from my ear, from what I've tried so far. So look for that video down the road. It'll be a while, but it's coming on, on the uh, Dr. Herringbone uh, Tongue Traveler and uh, how it affects the guitar before and after. I also wanted to mention the, the folks at Dr. Herringbone are wonderful people to work with. If you decide to get one of these, I ordered one and 10 days passed. Hadn't heard anything. Called them up, or no, I sent them an email, I think. And they got right back with me that very day. And we never, I still don't know where the first one's at. We don't know where it went to. It still has not came here. The second one did arrive. But he, we tried everything, man. They was good about working with me. And uh, he said, I'll just print out a new label and send you another new one today. And he did. And this is it, the one I showed you just now. So they're great people, man, to work with. If you uh, decide you want one of these, I can assure you they'll treat you right. So uh, I hope this helps. You know, if you want to try some uh, experiments on your guitar, this is the jewel tool to do it with. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.